get something where I come here to address this morning. My young girls, please, before you travel abroad, before anybody say, oh, make I take you go abroad, mind, like, what are you going, ask the person, what are you going there to do? As much as we all, with the excitement, we want to leave Nigeria because of the kind of country we are in. But it doesn't matter, it doesn't mean. That will not make you make, because if you take drastic actions, you will make mistakes for the rest of your life. So we all got to be careful. All these traffickers are out there, they are looking for those who will go and make money for them for their own selfish interest. And when you are a victim to such, you cannot come back again and you will have no option than to succumb to their others. And you must pay them their money in full before coming back to this country. Don't be in a hurry to travel out. Respect yourself. Calm down. When, if it's your destiny that, oh yes, I'm going to travel out of this country one day, it's going to come. It's going to meet you and in the right way and in the right manner. You won't just travel for nothing or travel as a sex slave. When, when you're a sex slave, you cannot come back to your country. Nobody will come to your aid. There is no mother there, there is no father there, there is no uncle, there is no auntie. Don't be in a hurry, don't be in a rush. I had an experience. Yesterday, I went to the market to get groceries for myself. I saw a very beautiful lady. If you see this lady, ah, you go not say money for her skin. The lady too go make sense. I did, I did far for where I sit down and I admire this woman. This woman waka call, she no say I did look her. She waka call me and she say, ah, beautiful girl, how are you? I want to help you because I don't want you to, to, to waste your beauty in Nigeria. I said, ah, what do you mean? She said, can I take you out of the country? When you go out of the country, there's a country I will take you to. Before you know, three months, you don't build house. You don't pay finish. You don't build house. I was like, ah, na magic, I've been a juju. How? How? How am I going to do it? She said, ha, that don't worry. When the time is right, that I should just give her my name. And I said, please, madam, don't ever tell me this kind of thing again. Or if I see that you come across any young girl and you are telling her about this kind of thing again, I'm going to disgrace you. Then I left. It's obvious that she wants to take me out of the country for, 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 to, as a sex slave. But I cannot be, I know the secrets. I'm not stupid. So please, I want every girl, young girl out there to be smart. Should be understanding. Don't fall victim for these traffickers. Do not fall victim. Don't be in a rush to leave Nigeria. It's better you are in your country than you be a slave in another man's land. Because if you don't have a good death, if you have a fragile destiny, it's something you are going to regret for your lifetime. So you have to be strong. There are other things you can do to make yourself. When the time is right, my dear sisters, you will travel. As much as Nigeria is hard, but every day we still laugh, we still wake up. It is God who made it so impossible. We cannot die in our own country. And for all these traffickers, you remember whatsoever goes around comes around. What of if now you have a child and somebody comes unaware and take your child and travel out of the country for slave slavery or for trafficking? How would you feel? What will you do? In this life, everybody wants money. Everybody wants this quick. As much as we all love money, we should not be desperate for it and go out of our way to make money. You don't make money out of your own fellow human beings. I think, okay, you taking those girls then and they can contact sicknesses, they can contact disease, anything can happen to them. They can die in the process. I've heard of so many girls who went to Dubai and they, they threw them from the tower and they died. Their father is not aware, their mother is not aware. It's only the news that they come to hear, oh, your daughter is dead. How would you feel? And what if that child is just your, is your only child? How would you feel? Please, anything we do in this life, we should have a rethink. Think about it. It is not good. Don't be in a hurry and don't be desperate to make money. It's your girl, Sonia. Thank you.